Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with a really quick video, guys. Okay, so there's a common issue slash problem that a lot of Android users are facing. It's to do with the applications. They keep crashing. So the problem started yesterday, I believe it was. Um, so the, the problem, the issue, what's causing the issue is the Android system web view application. So... In that video, I showed you how to actually uninstall any updates that you've done to the Android system web view application. But people have said that on their device, when they try to uninstall the updates for the application, it's um, disabled. So this is the problem. This is why it's disabled for some of you users. If you're running Android 7.0 Nugget or Android 8, the Android system web view is disabled because its function is covered by Chrome now. So to activate web view, you just have to follow what I'm about to show you. So just go into, all right, let me first of all, just show you what I'm talking about. When you go to the Play Store and type in system web view, you can see the application, but there's no option to actually uninstall it. Or uninstall the updates so what you actually have to do is go into the settings and scroll down and look for apps and then select application manager and then select Chrome and just disable Chrome for now so disable it And then go back to the Play Store, type in System Web View, and it will say that there's an update. So just go ahead and quickly update it so that you can have access to the application. within the settings. Okay, so now just go back to the settings. Go back into apps and select application manager and select to show all apps and then scroll down okay we need to locate the system web view Okay, guys, so go back into application manager. I actually scrolled past it. So here it is. So just find Android system web view. Go to storage. Clear the data. And then select that little tab there. Select uninstall updates. Hit OK and let it just uninstall everything and it's going to go back to the actual default system web view application. Um, that would have been the earliest um, version of the application and then just simply reboot or restart the device and then try your applications again. So yeah guys, that's how you do it. That's how you fix the problem on your device if the web view was disabled. I hope it helped you out. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out.